The one of the main reasons for draft proofing is one to save you money. Um, two, you don't want to be cold. You don't want to be cold, especially in winter. So it's best to get these jobs done. Um, if you say have a wooden door, around the edge you've got your draft strip which can be made of um, a brush type or a foam type. This just fits around the edge of the door and fits in to the door's contours. The other one is the keyhole. Obviously when you put your key in you can see straight through that. That needs a little flap, a keyhole flap on it. The other one is the letterbox. Now if you haven't got a, um, a brush type letterbox, that will always let the drafts in. The parts where you shouldn't overly draft proof is say at bottoms of doors, covered the air vents there. You must let the airflow go through. Where you have a gas heater, that is to let fumes through the house because you do not want to keep the fumes inside that room contained. That would be dangerous. You need to let a house breathe. Um, that's why you have air vents. Um, you do have, um, there's a few types of air vents. There's the um, hit and miss air vents. There's the open air vents. Uh, mainly you have open air vents or in the kitchens to let out the fumes to let the um, fresh air in. When you're cooking in your kitchen, so um, all the steam, um, you shouldn't have a window open. Let it out, let the steam out because you're only going to cause condensation and um, your air vents also should be open as well at the same time.